Okay, in this video we're going to talk about logging configuration for consolidated logging. So we have a couple things at, at play here and in my course on uh, the Spring Boot microservices I do cover this in a lot more detail. The Spring Boot microservices we're using are already configured to support this so I'm just going to do a quick code review to uh, show you the key uh, pieces of the puzzle. So one thing here to get the JSON logging uh, we have this uh, log stash. By default, Spring Boot uh, uses logback for logging. So this is a log stash logback encoder. Basically takes the log data and creates a uh, JSON output. So that is uh, one piece of the puzzle. Another important piece is uh, Spring Cloud Starter Sleuth. Sleuth is a project that is going to add tracing elements. So you'll get a, a correlation ID uh, passed through your services. So if service A calls service B, uh, Spring Cloud Sleuth is going to provide data in those uh, logging calls so that we can see a trace ID to help us uh, trace a call through multiple services. And I'm not going to get too far down that rabbit hole. Just wanted to point out these two components. And then finally, the other piece that we need to be looking at is under resources we have this logback spring.xml a lot going on in this but this is going to be setting up our logger specifically we want a council appender and the encoder we're going to be using this logging event composite json encoder so this is the uh, primary piece that is going to be taking the log data and making a json object out of it and that is important because we're going to be posting JSON to the console, and then FileBeat is going to be picking up the console logs and shipping those to Elasticsearch. So that's how everything fits together. I'm not going to be able to go through all of what's going on in here, but very important to have this. And then remember, I, I mentioned the Spring Cloud Sleuth component. That is going to be this piece right here where we have the trace ID and the span ID and parent span ID. This is all going to be coming from data in the logging. So we'll be able to see those trace and span IDs of uh, requests going across multiple services. So very, very important piece uh, to, to work with as far as seeing the consolidated logging if we have multiple services involved, specifically what Spring Cloud Sleuth is uh, for us to see. So just to recap, the two things that we need as far as dependencies is the logback encoder to get the JSON output, and then the sleuth component that is going to give us the trace IDs. And then finally, having this uh, logback spring.xml on the class path. So this is already built into the Spring Boot microservices and configured, so the services are doing effectively uh, JSON logging. And we can also see here the spring property context, spring app name, so each microservice has a, a unique spring application name and that is included in the log as well.